California and the Bay Area, as you well know, are rich in history. And thanks to a band of merry men, some of it will not be lost. They are preserving state history and having a lot of fun doing it. Here's tonight's Assignment 7 report. You can thank this group of men for keeping obscure Western history alive. They are E. Clampus Vitus, a fraternal organization which can trace its roots back to the gold rush. Each year, the Clampers, as they are called, seek out interesting local lore and commemorate the spirit of the West. Certain things that have happened in the past uh, that are not well known. Without the Clampers, you might not know about San Mateo County's last stagecoach robbery just off Crystal Springs Road near Hillsboro. The robber got away with just over four bucks. Or one of the few buildings saved from the 1906 quake and fire in San Francisco. It was full of precious whiskey. Or you may walk right by an old San Francisco saloon that was once a ship. There are over a thousand plaques within uh, uh, Eclampus Vitus territories. The group started in Virginia in the 1840s and moved west with the gold rush in 1849. No one really knows why it took off, but it may have been created to poke fun at the proliferation of secret societies of the day. More likely, it gave hardworking miners some comedic relief from panning for gold. The group died out by the turn of the last century, but was revitalized in the 1930s, and it is very much alive today. It's a legacy, it's a legend, and uh, it's a lot of fun. While clampers like to enjoy themselves, certainly, they have a more serious side. If a miner died and was a member of E. Clampus Vitus, what they would do is they would make sure that his widow and orphans were very well taken care of. For that reason, many chapters continue to volunteer to help the elderly, build playgrounds, clean highways, and give academic scholarships. They celebrate their brotherhood with their trademark red shirts. The thought is that it came from the undergarments of miners in the 1840s, 50s, 60s. Today there are 40 chapters and more than 100,000 members in the western states. Their motto is Credo Kia Absurdum, roughly translated to mean, I believe it because it is absurd. And every January, the Clampers kick off the year in Colma with an equally absurd celebration. His Majesty ruled San Francisco for only a short 20 years. In that time, people said he was nuts. Hundreds gather at the grave of Joshua Norton, a Gold Rush-era businessman who lost everything. He declared himself Emperor of California and Protector of Mexico and was embraced by the citizens of San Francisco for decades. He died in 1880. Emperor Norton, of course, was a clamper even uh, after his death. We'd definitely have honored him for all this period of time. Clampers from around the state then come together to celebrate at a nearby tavern. Their membership is made up of all walks of life, from plumbers to PhDs. We're all brothers of equal indignity. We all have a bent on history. We love history, but we parlay that with a fair amount of shenanigans. Young and old alike, the Clampers carry on their ancient tradition. Why, you might ask? Why not? I think that would be a finer question to answer. Yeah, why not indeed? So much fun. Uh, they do have a lot of fun. And of course, not just anybody can join e Clampus Vitus. You have to be invited to be a member. A strong interest in California history, of course, helps. What does e Clampus Vitus mean, a lot of people will ask. It turns out it is not Latin. No one really knows for sure. There are a lot of guesses about it, but yeah. they do have a great time. We're still waiting to be invited, too. <laughs> All right, Spencer, last look at the weather before okay, we head out. Meteorologicus predictus coming yeah. up.